Ehrlichia is a genus of bacteria, uh, generally considered weakly gram-negative, an um, intracellular bacteria that was originally discovered around the turn of the last century in South Africa, but is something that we commonly refer to as a tick-borne disease in the United States. Ehrlichia specifically, um, in regard to the tick-borne disease, infects the monocytes and macrophages and can only be found in those cells, uh, which is where it gets the, uh, the term uh, intracellular bacteria. And you can compare this to, for example, anaplasma, uh, which is another tick-borne disease, um, which infects the granulocytes, or rickettsia, which often infects the endothelial cells. Um, this does have some implications for diagnoses because it's harder to isolate the bacteria from the peripheral blood. You have to consider three different factors when you're thinking about the spread of a tick-borne disease. Obviously, the first is the tick, the other is the geography of the area, and the other is humans or animals, which often serve as the reservoir of the infection. The symptoms are not exactly the same, but most tick-borne diseases that we see present with very nonspecific symptoms. And these are things that can look like flu, a cold, or, or more common illnesses. They're things like fever, headache, body aches, occasionally rashes, especially with Ehrlichia and the spotted fever group or Ketsia, uh, but also it can be very nonspecific things like diarrhea and upset stomach. The ticks that carry Lyme disease and Rocky Mountain spotted fever are, are uncommon. We're talking 5%, 10% of all the ticks that are pulled off of people. In contrast, the Lone Star tick is about 90% of the ticks that's being pulled off of people. Now, this has implications because the Lone Star tick does not carry, or at least is not a competent vector of Rocky Mountain spotted fever or Lyme disease. So if we're seeing that most of the ticks are Lone Star ticks, then what you should expect is that most of the diseases are going to be diseases that are carried by the Lone Star tick. Ehrlichia is probably the most common disease that we're seeing here carried by the Lone Star tick. It takes up to a week or two weeks for someone to develop antibodies uh, to a tick-borne disease. Therefore, if physicians have a high suspicion, they should treat the patients empirically, which means regardless of the test result. And typically that is uh, five to 10 days of doxycycline.